You've edited, mixed and mastered your GarageBand for Mac track and you're ready to share it with the world. But how exactly do you get it from here to here, here or here? In this video, I'll show you how. The first step to exporting and sharing your GarageBand project is, unsurprisingly, in the Share tab of GarageBand's toolbar. You have six sharing options here. You can share your song to the Music app, you can share it via AirDrop or Mail, you can choose to burn your song to a CD, share it to your Mac storage, or send it as a project file to GarageBand for iOS, where you can work on it further on your iPad or iPhone. Choosing to send your song to the Music app will have it show up in your Mac's music library. Before that happens though, you'll need to decide if you want to rename your song, add metadata like artist or composer info, and whether you'd like to add it directly to an existing playlist. More importantly, you can choose whether you want your export to track to be compressed or left completely uncompressed. Uncompressed files retain all the audio fidelity of the original project, but are larger in size, and as such will take up more space in your Mac's storage. Lastly, you can export any regions you have selected specifically, or a cycle area if it's active, by clicking the marked checkbox at the bottom. With the Share with AirDrop option, you can share either the GarageBand project file, which is great for close quarters collaborators, or a mixed down version of your song to another Mac or iOS device. Note that you won't be able to open a macOS created GarageBand project inside GarageBand for iOS using this method. You'll need to use the Share project to iOS option specifically. More on that a bit later on. Sharing via AirDrop is really straightforward. Simply select AirDrop and choose the device you wish to AirDrop to from the list that pops up. Bear in mind though that you do need to be in the same room as the recipient, and the device receiving your file may have to manually allow the transfer. You can also send either a project file or a mixed down song using email via the share with mail option. Once selected, you can change the title, adjust the compression settings if exporting as a mixed down file, and choose whether to export selected regions or the full shebang. Once done, your exported project or song will be added as an attachment to an email within your Mac's mail app. Apple haven't designed a Mac with a built-in CD drive since 2012, so chances are this option will be greyed out for you like it is here for me. If you're one of the dozens or so owners of their external SuperDrive CD drive, however, you can hook it up, dust off one of those CDRs that have been taking up space in your attic, and burn your music onto it like it's the early 2000s. You can also simply export your song to your Mac's hard drive. This is the export option I use 99% of the time. It allows you to manually upload your file to socials, to SoundCloud or Bandcamp, or release them to streaming platforms through your online music distributor of choice. Like other exporting methods, you have a variety of options to choose from before exporting. You can even choose where on your Mac you'd like to save your file to. I find that saving to desktop is always a handy option, although if you're more organised than I am, and that isn't difficult to be fair, you can choose to save it to pretty much any available location or folder on your Mac. Exporting the file like this gives you the freedom to pick and choose when and how your song will be shared on social media for example, plus if you plan to release your song either as a single or as part of an EP or album, Adding files from your desktop or documents to your chosen distributor is the most straightforward way. Finally, you can share a special GarageBand for iOS compatible version of your GarageBand for Mac project to iCloud. 
The project appears in the GarageBand My Songs browser on your iOS device as a new song with a single track containing a mix of the entire GarageBand for Mac project. You can then add, edit and arrange new tracks in GarageBand for iOS and then share the updated song back to iCloud or directly to your Mac. Let me know what your most used GarageBand export method is down in the comments and if you found this video helpful, give that like button a good hard slap on the way past. I really appreciate it and it helps more people see this video. If you've exported your song and you're ready to release it on streaming platforms, but you're not really sure how that works, watch this next. <laughs>